you can see how readable the code is now compared to the theme that I had before in my earlier videos. What's up YouTube? This is Dennis Panuta for tutorials.eu. In this video, I would like to show you how to become more efficient when working with Visual Studio. And it doesn't matter whether you use it for C++ or C Sharp, these tricks that I'm going to show you are going to help you either way. So the idea is that there are a bunch of tools that are already available in Visual Studio, but then there are plugins that can help you to become even more efficient and that improve your workflow significantly. And one of them is Visual Assist. And in this video, I would like to introduce Visual Assist to you. And I would like to show you a few tricks that will make you faster when developing with Visual Studio. So I have created a Visual Studio Productivity Masterclass one and a half years ago, but at that point, I didn't know about Visual Assist yet. And that has changed because they have approached me recently and they asked me to check out their tool and then talk about it in a sponsored video, which this is. So they sponsored this video. So I looked deeper into what they have to offer and what the tool can bring you and me as a developer. And I'm really surprised that I didn't know about this tool yet because it's amazing. And I'm really convinced that this will help you a lot. So let's get started looking at how to install Visual Studio Assist and then also how to use it in an actual application. So Whole Tomato offers a plugin called Visual Assist for Visual Studio that will help you be more productive while writing code. So as you can see, while using the Visual Assist plugin, you will capitalize on fast navigation, code inspection and modernization, then refactoring, which will help you reduce the complexity of your code. And my favorite, the code correction feature, where you will literally see Visual Assist correct mistakes as you make them. Also, it has a code assistance feature that actually works and doesn't get in your way. So again, thank you Whole Tomato for sponsoring this video. And let's get started. So we will start off by downloading Visual Assist. So go to www.holetomato.com and click on try it for free, which will give you a free trial for 30 days, which is amazing. And as you can see, it does not matter which version of Visual Studio you are using because all of them are supported. So I will click on download free trial and then you can select your position for example, I'm going to select individual developer and I'm going to fill in my details. And then I will agree to the terms and conditions and download the free trial. Save the Visual Assist installer and once it's done, you can open it. And it will automatically detect which version of Visual Studio you have. For example, I only have 2022. So I will click here, here and then while installing, I will make sure that Visual Studio is closed so that it doesn't conflict with it. And once it's finished, it will display a message that the installation is complete. Click OK, and then let's open up Visual Studio. And when you open up any Visual Studio project, it will show you this window where it will display how much time you have left in your license. I have two days left. I've been using it and I'm <laughs> definitely going to get the license for myself. And I have prepared a WPF project for you. So let's take a quick tour of it. It's a simple store application where you can see categories and for example, the most popular apps and the top three apps. And if you click on any of them, it will take you to the product page or to the app page where you can see the description, the title of the application, the logo and the download button. The price, of course, and a small description where it's available and other recommendations for other products, which can take me to their page as well. And I'm going to use this project to show you how easy it is to use Visual Assist to navigate and refactor your code and make you more productive while doing so. Now let's just open the main script in our project, which is going to be the main window.xaml.cs. And as you can see, you will notice immediately that the theme or the color of the code is different from before. And now it is much easier to distinguish between methods, objects, and classes. Now, before we go any further, let's first explore how Visual Assist changed Visual Studio. Because you can notice that there are some changes indeed. So the first thing you will notice is that we have under the extensions, we have Visual Assist. 
If you are using an older version of Visual Studio, you will find it here between the view and the get drop down menu. But in my case, it's in the extensions drop down. So from Visual Assist, you can actually enable and disable the plugin as you wish. And you can also view and edit or change any option that you would like. Now, while inside the main window.xaml, for example, over here, one thing that you will notice is that we have this bar and this is our new navigation bar. So if we click on the down arrow over here, you will be able to see all of the tags in our XAML. The window, the grid, for example, the button, the text block, tag, all of them. And this can be used to navigate faster in large files or in larger files. So imagine we have a complicated UI, for example, and we have tables inside them, we have buttons and other bunch of stuff. It will be easier to navigate through them using this bar over here. So for example, if I click on the button, it will take me directly to the button tag. And if we head back to our main window.xaml.cs file, let me move this a bit like this and get rid of this window. You can see how readable the code is now compared to the theme that I had before in my earlier videos. The colors are more vibrant and you can tell objects from classes, from numbers. It's really amazing. And now let's look into some of the code features. For example, I have this huge chunk of code over here, which is just all subscriptions to events. So let me add just a comment that says event subscription. And as you can see immediately, it will tell you that there's something wrong. For example, I spelled event incorrectly. And if you right click on it, it will work just like a Word document. So you can even add it to a dictionary. So imagine how amazing this is in Visual Studio. So I'm going to select this correct spelling and even subscription, and that's it. And while writing code, sometimes you're writing code in a method and you feel, you know, this block of code does not belong here anymore. For example, it's too messy because it's just doing the same thing. So we can select all of these lines. And then if we hover on over it, we will see this tiny arrow over here and we can select extract method. And what this will do is it will create a new method and we'll put all of these lines that I've selected into it. So I'm going to name it initialize events. So we have initialize component and initialize events. So I'm going to click OK and I'm just going to move it real quick to into my main window class, like so. So now that was a lot easier than doing it manually. Now let's look into the editor features or the IDE features itself that were added by Visual Assist. As you can see here, we have our boring solution explorer that we all know, but with Visual Assist comes a new tab. So if you go to extensions, Visual Assist, and then tools, we can see it's called VA outline. So if you click on it, it will open up over here. And as you can see, if we keep scrolling down and selecting other methods, you can see that the method that we are at is being highlighted over here. And we can just jump through a method like so. And here I also have a spelling mistake. So this should be following like so. And let's look into another method window. And so that we have here from extensions via assist tools, let's look at the visual assist view. And here you find the files in the solution drop menu. And if you click on it, you will find all the files in your solution. And you can easily select between them. And in general, this way they are easy to deal with. So for example, we can go to our review XAML.cs file and we can look at it directly like so. And all of these features aside, let's look into what makes Visual Assist really powerful. And it's shortcuts. So let's review the top nine shortcuts in Visual Assist. So number one, if you hit Shift Alt O, it will open a dialog that will allow you to open any file in your project. So for example, I want to head over to the main file, which is the main windows.xaml.cs file. No need to go to the solution explorer and then find it. And maybe you're looking for a file that is inside the folder and it's inside the XAML file. So all of that is replaced by Shift Alt O. 
and it can't get easier than that. And number two, we have the find any symbol shortcut and you can execute it by clicking Shift Alt S. This will allow you to find any symbol and by symbol I mean any method or property or whatever you're looking for. So for example, in my A review CS file, I know that I have a list called names. So if I just search for names and I know it's a list of strings and I just click on it and it directly sent me to it. As you can see here, I have this list of strings that has some names in it and I'm using it in my reviews to use it as a just a placeholder for the names for the users who did the review on my product for the demo. Number three is the go to implementation shortcut. Maybe you want to see what the get review title based on stars method does. So select Alt G and it immediately takes you there. That also works if you're using methods from other classes, for example. So here I want to see what's the accent style window. So again, so Alt G here and we're already there. Now, instead of chasing an implementation, for example, so you look at the implementation that takes you to another method that takes you into a different method, you can just select the method you're looking for and click Shift Alt G and it will show you all the places that this method is being used. For example, we have the definition over here. So if we're just looking for the definition of this function or class, or if this class actually inherits from other classes, we can see that, for example, the accent style window inherits from window. And it's also mentioned in the constructor, for example, at line 27 over here. So it's pretty useful. Another cool trick is Alt-O, which will open the file that is the most related to the active document that you were at. And for example, if we select the tag from our grid over here, for example, this button, and we click Shift Alt F, this will give you your classic find references. The difference is the one that comes from Visual Assist is more powerful and a lot faster. And if you are in the class, in a normal class like the main window, and you hit Alt, M, it will display automatically all the methods that you have in this file, for example, here. And here, look at the list and right click anywhere. You can even sort them. Look how amazing this is. So you can sort them according to their alphabetical order. You can also include or exclude properties, regions, scopes, members, events, and so on. And let's say we go to the top of the file and we want to rename something, for example. I have the main window content page. Let's say we decide to rename it so we can easily do that by using Shift Alt R and we can just select the new name that we want. So let's say main window page without content and here we can select the places where this change will apply. So we can see that in these files and in these places in these lines, the highlighted well, the main window content page, the thing that we're going to change is now in bold font, which means it's going to be renamed over there. So I will just click rename. And as we can see, the new name is applied everywhere. It needs to be. And finally, we have the VA or Visual Assist hashtags. And this is a very cool feature. It will basically allow you to add hashtags to comments and you can navigate among them using a special window. So for example, in my VA view, let me find my names list over here. And let's say I want to add a comment with a new hashtag that I want to call connect to the database. So for example, I don't want to get the list of names directly from here, but I want to fetch it from a database somewhere. So whenever I am in a similar situation where I need to connect to a database, I can just use this hashtag and it will be recognized. So now I can use Shift Alt H and I can see my hashtags. It's as simple as that. So you can even categorize the fixes that you want to implement. For, for example, you're working with a repository and you have more than one developer working, so you can assign tasks to each other this way. So now you know how to install and use Visual Assist, and there is obviously a bunch more that you can do with it. This was just a small selection of features that Visual Assist has to offer, and well, man, I can tell you it's really worth it. So please go ahead and use the link in the description down below. Use it and then fall in love with it. 
I definitely did and I highly recommend that you do as well. This will make you a much better and faster developer in Visual Studio. So thanks a lot for watching the video. Hit the like button if you haven't done so already and subscribe if you haven't done so either and see you in the next video. And again, thanks to Whole Tomato for sponsoring this video.